www.educator.com and continuing with reading comprehension, we are going to explore Latin root words. So the plan for this lesson is pretty simple. I'm actually going to give you examples of words you already know that have Latin roots in them. And then I'm going to give you examples of prefixes and root words, and I'll explain what each one of those means. And finally, we're going to see some examples of some actual Latin words and how they've actually turned into English words over the centuries. And after that, we'll do some sample exercises. So let's think back to the previous lesson real quick. Let's recap. We had these strange words like ontology, geology, and biology, and we came up with L-O-G-Y. Well, L-O-G-Y is the root word, and that meant something like study of, or learning of, or knowledge of. And then once we figure out what bio, geo, and onto is, we could figure out what these words mean. Latin roots work the same way. I have a prefix, which comes before the root word, sub, and then I have this word right here, mar. There it is, the word submarine. Where do submarines travel? Beneath the water. Now, why do we do these Latin roots? Why do we go through them? Well, first off, it'll make it a lot easier to understand big words. And I can't emphasize this enough. I mean, would you rather memorize 24 root words or 300 new vocabulary words? This is going to make things a lot simpler for you. This word right here, malefactor, there are actually two words there. And by the end of this lesson, you are going to understand exactly what that means without me even having to tell you. Also, when you're doing those exams for those tests to get into college, to get into schools, it's going to make that guessing process. You know, when you have four options, you're not sure which one's the right one, and you have to guess, it's going to make guessing a lot easier. So, example, I got this word regicide here. I don't know what that word means, but I do know that S-I-D-E, side right here, they usually mean something like kill or murder or destroy. So I at least understand a little bit of what that word is about. As a final note, those of you who speak Portuguese or Spanish, you're actually at an, ex at an advantage here because Latin roots are very, very close to Spanish and Portuguese words. In fact, in that example, submarine, you already saw that the word for, you know, ocean in English is already there, mar. English, unfortunately, just kind of borrows from all languages, and, you know, it's kind of a mesh, but we still got Latin in there. But it's easier if you speak Spanish or Portuguese as a first language.